All right, now comes one of my favorite uh, attacks and uh, Marshals Unleashed. This is the Mass Cavalry Charge. It's a very powerful charge that is able to really turn the battle into your favor with a very small action, but with a huge impact on enemy lines. Why? Because the cavalry, when they charge, yeah, there's no dice needs to be thrown. And their valor, the charge valor, is depending on their class, which can go up to four damage points. So that's really huge. Yeah. So we're going to do the basics. So if you want to do a cavalry charge, now let's go to the basics. As you know, that a cavalry has a movement range of three operational zones. Yeah. In any direction. If I'm here, I can move to here. Two, three, one two, three, and so on, and so on, and so on. So if I have this one single um, cavalry unit, yeah, it is able to charge this unit. Always remember that with the charge, there must be one operational zone between the cavalry and the target unit. Yeah. So which means to get there, I need one, two operational zones, and I can spend three for movement. So which means I can charge it yeah if this unit survived the charge possibly not because this is a, a class 7 with 3 damage point this unit is destroyed yeah, I charge it I still have one engagement zone able to retreat to safety and that could be in any direction within one operational zone so I charge it the unit is destroyed and I go back to safety yeah, so use the maximum safety in order that your cavalry is returned to a location that is not able to be targeted by at least uh, infantry units. Okay, so this is the basic of a charge. You simply target the unit, you say, listen, this is my cavalry unit, I want to charge this one. Always use a straight line and always make sure there's no obstacles like three lines that is not possible. Yeah. Charging can also be done by using roads. So everything within this range can be used to charge. For example, to, buy, to bypass these trees. If the cavalry was here, it's not able to charge here. You could do, listen, I, have, I want to target this powerful unit. That's a class 4 elite infantry unit. You could say, I'm going to use the roads and charge from here. So you bypass the uh, tree line. Okay, so you simply move the unit to the location where you charge. If the unit is destroyed, it must be removed. And if you have charge uh, movement range left, you have, in this case you have it, then you can redeploy to a safe location. Okay, now, now comes the big thing, the mass cavalry charge. Now you are able to unleash a mass cavalry charge up to eight cavalry units or a division. I'm going to show you how to do it. So for example, if you have here two brigades, yeah, always make sure that you are positioning them at two operational zones away for the charge. Yeah. So you always have the opportunity to bring them back. And now I'm going to use my action point to unleash the mass cavalry charge using eight units. Now, if you pay attention, yeah. imagine that the division is ready to deploy. Yeah. We're going to even go further to give you a very good example. So I have masked my, my cavalry charge. Um, I've matched my the, the preparation for the charge, so he's not aware that I'm uh, moving my cavalry into a position to, to hit him. So what I could use, I could say, listen, I'm going to use micromanagement. I'm going to redeploy those units away, this one away, so my cavalry becomes free. And I'm allowed to do it because I use micromanagement. Now... I haven't used any action point yet, folks. I still have four, which means I can use the first wave to target units. 
using one action point, hitting this one, hitting this one. This one is destroyed because it has a damage uh, defense failure of three. It's gone. Yeah. I'm using the remaining movement range of one operational square to go to safety. This one survives this, the, the charge because he has a damage failure of three, but I'm using my remaining movement, movement range to get in safety. That's only one action point. The next wave, I'm going to use this one to target these units directly. So he survives, doesn't survive the charge because it's a class eight with a damage point of four. This one is destroyed. Yeah. This one still lives because he has a damage uh, defense failure of three. So he stays. And I relocate my cavalry units to a safer location. And I'm using the third action point to obviously target this one and this one because they are powerful units. So I'm going to do, we're going to use one action point, the third one to target these guard units here. It inflicts three damage points. I relocate them to safety. Yeah. And use this one to target the guard infantry. Has one left because he has damage failure of four. I relocate this into safety. So which, which means this one has one left and this one has two left. And I have my fourth action point I'm going to use to destroy his guard units. Yeah, and relocate to safety. And relocate to safety. So, ladies and gentlemen, did you saw that? I just broke his line. Yeah, and destroyed four infantry battalions and two guard battalions in this charge yeah the only requirement is that a general is always near in the range of influence in order to command the mass cavalry charge playing the game at the marshal's level means that the gen general must be able to command cavalry in order to command a mass cavalry charge yeah so very powerful yeah, so the only disadvantage is, is that you have to make sure if you initiate those mass cavalry charge that you are able to retreat to safety. If you charge from a distance too far and use your whole uh, movement range, you're not able to return to safety. But there's another trick, eh? if you paid attention in these classes, you know that the general has can add a bonus range, which means... Which means, if the cavalry started within the influence zone of the general, that it was able to use the fourth movement range to retreat to even a safer location. Yeah? So it used two to get there and two to get away. Yeah? So this is really important. This is the, this is the power the influence that the general has over his, over his troops, you know, so be aware of that, yeah, and only use cavalry if you are the charges, if you are, if you know for 100%, uh, I can get back to safety, or you are willing to sacrifice them, but that's the choice you have to make.